range of a rational function. Similarly to how the end behavior of a polynomial was determined by the leading term, the end behavior of a rational function will be determined by the two leading terms of the polynomials which create it. If the two leading terms are divided and simplified, giving us something that resembles the reciprocal function, rather the degree on bottom is larger, then we will have a horizontal asymptote at y equals zero, with end behavior going towards zero on both ends. If the two leading terms are divided and simplified, giving us something that resembles a polynomial, no longer a rational, then there is no horizontal asymptote. If this simplified polynomial has degree of one, then there may be a slant asymptote, which we won't focus on. If the polynomial we simplify down to has degree larger than one, then our rational function will have end behavior that mimics that polynomial. If the two leading terms are divided and simplified, leaving us with something that is constant, that constant is where we have a horizontal asymptote. If r of x is 2x plus 1 divided by 3x plus 4, the horizontal asymptote is y equals 2 over 3. You now know the different situations which create a horizontal asymptote and how to apply them. You can combine this knowledge without finding the domain and intercepts of rational functions to graph some examples of them.